Hey, we're moving on now to our fifth software recipe. Uh, this one's going to be quite a, a simple one again. Uh, this is to show you how to actually add uh, forms so that you can open another form from within a program. So we're going to start with our uh, simple text writer from the last software recipe. Um, we can actually start from any point as long as it's a program we've already got one form in. And we're going to right click on the test project to add a um, new Windows form. It's quite simple to do, just add new form. It's then going to ask us for a name. Now, for naming, I always use FRM at the start of my form so I can identify them quite easily in code. Now I'm going to call this one Form Items. No particular reason for that. Then that will give me a chance to show you a couple other bits and pieces. First thing I'm going to do is change the text so that it says Items rather than FRM items because it always gives it the name that you've given it and move to the centre screen. I'm now going to add something called radio buttons to our list. Radio buttons are quite interesting because only one of them can be selected at any one time and the way that it works if I had as many radio buttons as I wanted on a form I could only select one of them but if I create something called a panel which is, if you like, a little container, I can actually put another set of radio buttons in that container, and those will have their own choice, if you like. So I'll now be able to select one out of four, five, and six, and one out of one, two, and three. So this is how it allows you to have more than one option selected. Alternatively, you can use t tick boxes or check boxes, and check boxes, you can have as many checked as you wish, all in the same form. Okay, so there's our form as it's going to stand at the moment. So, in my form one, I'm going to have a new button. I'm going to give it the text items and call it BN items. And what I'm going to get the program to do is open up my form items. To do that, I create a new form items in men memory. I'm just going to call it item as our object that we can use. The first thing I'm going to do is hit item.show. All that does is show it on the screen. So we'll run the program now and just show this one in working. Simple and straightforward. I click items and my items appear. Now as you can see, I can only select one of the radio buttons there, but I can also select one of the radio buttons in this panel. The panel doesn't actually appear unless I give it a border, and I can select as many checkboxes as I like. However, notice that in my taskbar, this being Windows 7, obviously they've all co collapsed, but it actually still appears in the taskbar, which I don't particularly want it to do. Now there's two ways around that. The first item, if I say I want to show this as a dialog box. What that means is that they now treat the items click as a dialog that you must do something within before you can do anything else. I can't move this form, I can't do anything on this form until I have closed this one. Just like a dialog that's come up for warning. Now a normal Windows, as in Windows XP, that wouldn't reduce anything on the taskbar, but unfortunately it does in Windows 7. So how do we stop things from appearing in the taskbar? Well, in design mode, there's a very simple show in taskbar, true or false. We just set that to false. And now our new form will not appear in the taskbar. So you can either show it as a dialog, and then I cannot do anything on this form until this form is closed. Or it might be you want both forms to be accessible at the same time. In which case, we'll go back to our item.show. Now, when I open this one, I can still use this form just as if I've got two programs open. There's my open file format. So I can still use that one at the same time as this one. It depends what you need to use the forms for. Notice the program doesn't close down until I close form1.cs. That's because this is the first program, the first form that is open by the program. Now what would happen if I wanted FRM items to load up first? 
Let's put a new button on here and call it text. This time, this button is going to open up form one. And again, I create it manually and I show it. Now, the first thing to notice is this is a totally different form one to this one that's currently running on the screen. I can open that and I can open yet another one. I can open another items, as you can see. I can open another one. It doesn't automatically reuse the item that you want that you first opened. Each one of these is a separate new object and is completely independent from the first one. So I can load something into that one and load something different into this one, for example. But that program, that first form one, is always the one that closes the program. If I say I wanted to open the form items first instead of form one, I go into program.cs and here is where it tells me what is actually the first thing that is run application.run if I change it to a new form items instead now form items opens first so I can change what form I actually want to load up first and now it's this one that if I close closes everything so how do you do it so that if you just close any form amongst our group of forms that the whole program closes down. For this we need to use an event. Now events are listed under this lightning bolt icon uh, on any form and we're going to do the form closing event or form closed event. At the point where the form is closed by clicking on the red X this will then fire and what I'm going to tell it to do is whenever any X is closed exit the application. I'm going to do exactly the same thing now on form items. So go up to form closed and put the same piece of code in. I'm going to put a comment in as well. Because it is good practice to start putting comments in your code. We go back up. So now, whenever we close any of our forms, I'm going to go several forms deep. So I've got all these forms open. Doesn't matter which one I use to close. That was the first one down there. If I close that one, the whole program now closes.